Hello Capricorn, this is Marianne here from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're reading this, a huge shout out to you. Thanks for joining me today, this evening, whenever you're watching this uh, reading. Capricorn, this is for your 2024 um, year ahead. Uh, it's for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Capricorn, you might want to uh, check this reading out. Additionally, major placements like Jupiter, Venus and Saturn, can these readings can sometimes be relevant because uh, these are big, uh, are big Capricornian energies, uh, even with those placements. Um, so uh, again, this is a general reading. So uh, if you're drawn to it, if it resonates, by all means claim it. As I tell people each month in my tarot scopes, if it doesn't resonate now, it may be because the prediction hasn't come true yet. So come back and check it out. We can pick up past events that are bearing down on your year ahead. We can pick up sort of the present now. I'm doing these readings in December. But mostly this reading's focused on 2024. So the way that I'm going to work is I'm going to do some scrying with this uh, quartz orb, um, which for me, provokes my clear audience. I can get clairvoyant images and clear audience sentences through it. I'll then move to my third eye, straight clairvoyance, which is my strongest um, psychic ability. And I will uh, then move to the tarot. So the tarot that I'm using is the Crow Tarot. I'll clarify with the Aquarian Tarot. I'll use uh, Colette Baron Reed's Dreamweaver Oracle and also my own spiritual oracle, which you can find details of which are on my website, and that's the Revealing Light Oracle. Okay, so um, let's get started with your energy. Okay, so already I, uh, I have seen that somebody has something locked away that's very valuable. It's like in a quite an ornate uh, cupboard. Is this an urn? It may not be an urn. It could be something, uh, some possession that you value. I'm not sure why I'm picking that up. Why am I picking this up for Capricorn in 2024? Can you show me Capricorn in 2024? Hmm. a compass so whatever this thing of value for you is it's acting like your compass still why is it that you need whatever this thing is of value uh, to act as your compass you should be your own compass your own guiding light let's see why this is turning up and why I'm getting the messages that I am getting can you show me clearly Spirit, what's uh, coming up in 2024 for Capricorn? Definitely uh, compass, time, um, the dial, you know, I'm seeing the dials moving around. So almost like time it could speed up in some way for you in 2024. And it's a um, fairly subjective thing, isn't it? Um, sorry, I just, I thought I heard my dog walking around. Um, it's a fairly subjective thing when time, you know, we can perceive time as going very slow, but we can also perceive it as going very, very quickly. So it could be also uh, a metaphor for where you've been stalled in the previous years. You're going to find that you're going to get the go ahead, the green light in many areas of your life. So maybe this, maybe this compass is also about learning to trust yourself. Uh, where perhaps you may have relied on other people who may not even be in this life still, maybe in the afterlife. It is time to be your own guiding light. And I got double validation there with some clear audience. Okay, what else is coming up for Capricorn? Yeah, I feel you've been putting off a decision and this could have be, even be about your health because I'm seeing what looks like a doctor. Not for everybody, but for some. This could be something that you have been uh, putting off. And it is time now to, um, to make a decision about whether or not you're going to go forward with whatever that is. 
For others, it's a decision about walking through a doorway. It is an un unknown situation in many ways for you. You're not sure if it's going to work out. You're not even sure I hear if it's going to be feasible for you to walk through that door. And what is this in relation to? Uh, for some of you, it's in relation to travel. I'm just seeing big billboards. And it could be, uh, certainly for my US viewers, billboards can advertise when you're in a new state or not. So it could even be moving um, to a new state from where you're living now. Somewhere that's very, very green. Very much greener than the state you're in at the moment. <laughs> Very specific images coming forward for uh, Capricorn and it is perhaps where uh, there is love there for you um, because the green is also associated with the heart chakra. I'm just seeing the, the orb glowing green or not glowing but uh, illuminating uh, with gr the green, uh, green colour. Yeah, I'm going to say use your intuition on this one, Capricorn. Um, I feel you've got to look up. Uh, look up and use your intuition, your crown chakra, which is your uh, conduit to spirit. Open, throw it open to spirit. Throw your intention open and say, "Look, should I should I proceed with this?" There's definitely a lot of movement and travel for you. Again, I come back to the compass. All right, anything further from scrying needed for Capricorn? in 2024 yeah i just want to say there is um some of you are even running toward that doorway some of you may have already made your decision up now i know in north america for my north american viewers it's starting to get very cold but i have to say i'm reading in the dead heat of the afternoon today and it is very very hot i do have the fan going uh but yes it is very hot. All right, so I know it, there's a bit of um, cognitive dissonance when you see me in summer uh, summer clothes, and uh, but yes, it's hot. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get anything further. Tuning in uh, through straight straight clairvoyance as opposed to scrying. So I'm seeing the Ace of Swords here. You put it down. Uh, which means that there is a truth that you may not be, you may have just, I'm not saying not faced, you've just let, you're just letting it lie there for the moment. You're not picking that Ace of Swords up. And I don't know why that is. Can you show me why uh, that is? It's almost like you feel a sense of vertigo, um, like I'm, I'm looking down from a great height uh, and yeah, you're uncomfortable about actually climbing down. So this is a fairly major, uh, major decision for some. That's coming up for Capricorn. What else can I see? I'm always guided by clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, and of course divination, tarot, and when I'm doing astrology readings. So Capricorn in 2024. Ah, yeah. So somebody's there's a like a delivery of a message, like it's like in a scroll. Uh, so there's uh, an important message coming through for you at some point. In uh, I'm hearing early 2024. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so it's tied up with red ribbon. So it looks like fairly formal. It could even be an invitation. You know how they do invitations to weddings, for example, in that way, or invitations to important things. It could also be contracts as well. So maybe some of you have made the decision to move interstate and you're moving into a new house or a new rental and there's an agreement that you must sign okay so <laughs> okay bags of money all right so okay so around christmas time something fortunate could happen because it's like linked with the santa image this is not for everybody uh but i feel that there is a little bit extra coming through for you around that time christmas and early new year uh, I've always got to interpret these images with the, um, what's the word, responsibility. Uh, I'm not going to say you're going to win the lottery, maybe you will, but it's definitely um, like money bags uh, is the symbol for something extra coming through the door through to, yes, a sum of money you weren't expecting comes in. Okay. 
All right, Aries, I'm looking at somebody who's dealing with an Aries. Why? Okay. This, um, I don't know, fear that I'm sensing about, you know, not the, the vertigo type thing. It could have something to do with an Aries because I'm just seeing the goat there. And also, goats are fairly stubborn. And so you may not, you may be holding out for something. Uh, and it's time just to go with the flow. And part of that is using your own voice, finding the freedom for you to use your own voice. Okay, uh, Capricorn, what else is happening for Capricorn? And some of you could even be on a small farm, I'm seeing, or thinking about purchasing a, purchasing a small farm. I'm getting a lot of clairvoyant images as I touch. Touch into the Capricornian Collective. And you will know which image is right for you. So don't think that this is going to apply to everybody. It's not. It, it'll it'll apply to us to to whoever needs to hear this message. So I'm seeing a small scale model of a farm. Um, okay, or at least a new, even a new home. And I am seeing like the New England area as well. Okay, so there's some specific messages for you, Capricorn. Any last clairvoyant messages? from Capricorn. Uh, we could see like a May date as well in 2024 is important for some. And a slight many hands make light work as well. So, all right, let's tune in with the Crow Tarot and we'll pull a overarching Celtic cross to look at the main themes for you Capricorn in 2024. After that, we're actually gonna drill down quarter by quarter and then uh, we'll pull some oracle cards during all of that as well. Let me just put on my glasses. Not much good for scrying. I prefer to use my naked eye, but uh, very good for reading <laughs> reading tarot cards. Okay, um, all right, Capricorn, let's tune right into your energy, Capricorn. Right into your energy, yeah. Okay, somebody elderly needing uh, needing a hand to get up, almost needing to use a bar to uh, raise herself up on. Could be caring. Uh, this came up for one of the other signs as well. Uh, an elderly person. Now, it could even be meeting somebody at the airport. So perhaps an elderly person is coming to visit or you're going to visit them or you're moving to care or be closer to an elderly person. Okay, Capricorn, show me the overarching energies, please, for Capricorn in 2024. Capricorn 2024. So we get the five of pentacles, uh, and this can be, it uh, can be, I guess, uh, obviously left out in the cold, uh, feeling like, you know, you... It's not a sense of not belonging. It's just there may be better places for me. That kind of feeling It is the card of change. And it actually can be a, a card of downturn in money. But after the five comes the six, which is somebody giving you a hand. And we get the nine of wands here. Some of you are feeling a little bit embattled. Um, could be over money in 2023. Um, just a bit weary or it could be um, you know that feeling of um, it's not isolation it's not it's an aloneness it's like where is my anchor who is my anchor there's that kind of feeling and this could be um, a motivation for you to go and live closer to relatives that is definitely at the foundation of the reading Thank you, Spirit. There is a pretty huge decision to make. And as this has come out as the foundation of the re reading, I don't know that you've made it. I think there's some difficulty making it. But we have the magician in the past. So I want to say you've actually manifested this energy because you are the magician in your life. It's not anybody else. It's you. It's number one. It's you, the identity. It's sort of manifesting this new start, but you're not quite sure of it yet. Now, in the sky, we have the tower. And the tower is not a bad card. It's simply that the 
Foundations upon which you built your life in the past may not have been strong enough. And this is about breaking down those old patterns and rebuilding that foundation stronger than ever. So there is a major, major, major decision for some Capricornians. And we get pause in the immediate future, early in the year or even now, just stopping everything. Not willing to make the decision. I need to look at things another way. Or it can be suspension of, of, of the decision that you need to make. But this bird can't ha hang upside down forever. They do that so that they can get the light of awareness. That's what the halo is and the rider weight around the hanged man. Um, and they're looking for signs of spring when that enlightenment comes. So we have the um, the Eight of Cups, a rather forlorn crow here, uh, looking over to the mountain. Uh, it's pretty grey, it's pretty stormy. And this is about wanting to leave behind. It's not actually loss. It's wanting to leave behind what no longer serves you. And we get the Seven of Swords. So... You could be deceiving yourself uh, if you put off that decision because it's all around the decision for you. It's like a bit of self-deception. And if you don't make that decision, you've got the tower here. I think you know what this is, Capricorn. So we have the three of wands in the hopes and fears. Gosh, I hope I do the right thing. Three of wands. I hope my ship comes in what if what if it's like you're perpetually saying what if we get the knight of swords you get going you make the decision you face the truth and away you go you go you pick that ace of swords up and away you go with it the knight of swords is a very quick moving quick moving uh horse there a quick moving knight we get the four of pentacles what if I, what if, what if, and the Four of Pentacles can be around insecurity, holding information, holding yourself back. I'm not prepared to do this. I don't think I'll have the money to do it. And we get the Five of Wands, obstacles, challenges. This speaks more broadly to a truth that you must face within your environment. I want to ask you, are, are you really feeling secure in your environment? Or is there bickering and constant, I don't know, competitive, negative, well, competitiveness, unless you're competing with yourself, is negative. I know a lot of people won't want me to say that, but if we were all solid within ourselves, there would be no more competing we would just be glad for the achievements each other's makes each other makes news is coming in to change your mind maybe to give you that extra uh, motivation <laughs> cuz guess what you made you're making the decision and off you go the chariot very very quick movement and the knight of pentacles you're going to be okay you'll make solid progress base of the pack is the Eight of Swords. Really, what are you worried about? This can be a you know little bit of paranoia. It's time to draw on your emotional maturity. Moving out of the Three of Swords energy. Leaving the past behind. Finding your motivation. You're going to have everything you need. It's going to be okay. Alright, let's pull on uh, some Oracle cards. So I'm thinking that most of you will make that decision let's look at the Collet Baron Reed I actually bought this deck new the Dreamweavers Oracle and I just didn't feel feel it when I got it but then I looked at it now and I thought oh no I like this <laughs> okay so show us uh, Capricorn in 2024 please show me Capricorn in 2024  
So we get 17, even wisdom needs a rest. Might be time to you for some of you to clock off in the middle of the bridge. Okay, so again, uh, it's like the hangman energy. Um, what, what is it that you're stalling? Why are you stalling? What is it have you put on hold in the middle of the bridge? Neither in the past, neither in the future. You're just there. When the grit becomes a pearl, that's a promise of something really beautiful uh, occurring. Pearls are made under stress and duress, hence the rocks flying everywhere. But then you get something of beauty. And we get painting joy across the sky. Uh, whatever you decide, however you decide it, happiness awaits now let your dreams be woven true it's almost like the tree of life it's like you're sleeping in slumber dreaming this dream not ready to commit to it let's see what you may be overthinking as well let's see what the in the middle of the bridge is doing here Shame. okay that wanted to come out <laughs> i kid you not I kid you not. 78 cards in the pack. And however many in this oracle. I don't know, 50. And we get what I consider close to the energy of the hanged man emerging. There's definitely something you're putting off. Okay, let's have a look at this. Well, no, let's even wisdom needs a rest. I mean, they're the, the whales coming up to the surface. And the energy is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we get we get the uh, all-knowing uh, eye here, the eye of wisdom. Even wisdom, maybe you know too much, <laughs> is what I got. Okay, so we get the Ten of Swords. Okay, so <coughs> the Ten of Swords can be uh, ending complete and utter. Downfall can be an ending of some sort. Maybe you know too much. Do you think this is what's going to happen to you? Show me. Uh, even wisdom needs a rest. King of Swords. You're not going to fall for any any of your fears. Uh, you're actually going to plan and strategize. And it's logic. It's, it's like, okay, I've done enough thinking. I don't need to do any more thinking. I've got my plan. I've got my strategy. I've made my decision. Okay, 2024, when the grit becomes a pearl, 27, number 27, breaking down to 9. This is a masterpiece, Renaissance, new, newness, uh, before we get to 10. It's the anticipation of the new cycle. Show me when the grit becomes a pearl for Capricorn in 2024. Page of Swords, yeah. Um, it's like awareness. It's like awareness. Uh, you get the light of awareness. It's like you pick the, the sword up in so many ways. You've had the page, the knight, the king. Show me when the grit becomes the pearl. Starting off with a seed, uh, planting a seed. Show me when the grit becomes the pearl. Yeah, heavy decisions to make. Some of you could even be going overseas. Some of you could be offered a job in another state you've got skill and value that's why they've offered it to you when the grip, grip becomes a pearl way too much overthinking and anxiety even wisdom needs a rest and then we get the king of swords you always your answer is make the plan do the strategy apply logic we've got justice here as well at the base of the pack moderation temperance and emotional new starts so i feel for some of you it's been pretty difficult with that five of rods coming up there again so you've had a pretty difficult 2023 but i feel that 2024 certainly in the second half once you make the decision it's going to be a whole lot better painting joy across the sky some of you could literally be hopping on that airplane and traveling to that new destination painting joy some of you will, could even decide to leave a job and that's it i'm going to travel for the next three months uh, some of you could just say to hell with my fears <laughs> we can send them down to hell <laughs> 
because I'm going to ascend and experience joy and happiness. Uh, and you really get that message in the second half of the year. Uh, these wanting to come out. No, I won't take them on. Uh, yeah, double message around uh, try not to worry so much. Painting joy across the sky. What is this for? Capricorn. We get the chariot. Yeah. It's, you decide to go, you decide to move, you decide to take the trip, you decide to take the job, you decide to go and live closer to family, whatever it is, you're going in that last, well, no, it's not the last quarter, I haven't even got to that, uh, but I felt like it was close to the last quarter. Alrighty, uh, now we will drill down on the quarters for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, my friends, Capricorn. Coming up for Capricorn in 2024, I want four cards, quarter by quarter, January to March, April to June, July to September, October to December. Four cards, four quarters. What is coming up for Capricorns in 2024? 24 Capricorns 2024 Capricorns 2024 Ooh, that first quarter uh, okay well let's just draw them out and I'll bring the yeah the uh, base of the pack is the Eight of Wands. Uh, news does come in. There's the Ace of Swords. It, it forces you to pick that Ace of Swords up with great clarity. We get the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Here's your insecurity. All these are a mix of the energies. They can be good and bad. And we get the Nine of Swords again keeps coming up. I'm worried. What if? What if? What if? It's time to leave all that behind. This is your soul's journey and we need to move forward. And here's the Six of Swords. Whatever you decide to do with the Ten of Cups, you actually, I don't know, you find a better deal for yourself. It's a better deal. When I say it's a better deal, whatever the situation is, it's, it's, it's be better for you. So it could be uh, with the, ta okay, I'll bring the, the laptop down. So the first quarter, uh, my friends, is that tower. It showed up as a potential in your overarching um, reading. Uh, it, could, it, it was what was crowning the reading. So this is major change for you. Show me the tower, please, for Capricorn. Why is this tower here in the first quarter? Why is this tower here? So this wanted to come out, we get the hanged man. It's like the more you delay, uh, the more obstacles and challenges come your way. There's a lot of worry and anxiety here. But it's like the universe is speaking. What was taken away must be given back to you regardless. Uh, maybe you're doing too much. Um, maybe you need to say no more often. Well, something's coming in. Oh, wow. Something's the sun at the base of the pack. I just want to underscore this. Something's coming in in the form of great change in that first quarter, maybe even in the December month, as I thought. Um, December, January, the, th the first quarter. That initially looks like it's it's a huge, got to be a huge, huge change and you're worried and you're frightened about it. But it actually turns out to be for your own good because we have Jupiter's wheel here wheel of fortune and happiness happiness and perhaps having control for the first time in a long time and we have we have finances good finances you get all ten pentacles I thought again you might get that little bit of a help around Christmas New Year for some Quarter two is the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups speaks to me about friends, family, support. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Show me this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? 
Show me the Three of Cups, please. Show me the Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is having everything you need. Domestic security, not wanting for anything. And we get the Seven of Swords. There's some kind of deception here. Uh, could be self-deception. That card came up before. We have the Queen of... Uh, two Queens now. The Queen of Wands. And this is a project or a plan that actually gives you back your mojo and then we get gives you back your control the emperor you're in control and we get the lovers um i just want to say i listened to a uh, podcast today that talks about the coming paradigm shift or uh the ascension out of this 3d kind of energy uh and that we must hold love in our hearts love in our hearts for everybody forget the polarization forget the anger forget the disappointment this is just holding the flame of love in your third eye and focusing on that and i feel that's important i don't know why i said that uh and also love and nurturing of the self three queens in the one pack and then we get the sun it's almost like or you do all of these things and even though the tower comes in it actually does lead to an increase in your happiness okay let's look at the hierophant this is uh the third quarter wow this is like connection to spirit the hierophant this is like it, it is decreed. The Hierophant holds its finger, fingers like this. I decree something. It is already written. You are going to be receiving the key to something. The key to something. Let's see what you're going to be receiving from the Hierophant, please. In that third quarter. Let's give the cards a good shuffle. The Hierophant for Capricorn. Show me the Hierophant for Capricorn. Okay, we get the Ten of Swords. It's like old cycle out. You're well on your way to the change that you need. It's an inevitability. And that's what the Hierophant wants you to know. It's like Pluto energy coming in and saying this change was inevitable. And it's like almost wanting to end those obstacles and challenges that you've been under and give you greater freedom of movement, greater freedom of, you know, how... Uh, you know, when we're kind of subjugated. I had an old friend that used to use that word all the time, sort of under the under the under the thumb, so to speak, not having the freedom. Something changes in the third quarter that gives you back that uh, freedom. And it's like wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. The money's there to really fulfil your wishes. Fourth quarter, the Seven of. This is budgeting. <laughs> Don't spend all of that money at once. <laughs> uh, this is budgeting here. Also plans, you know, when we get this big change, we think, oh, it's all going to fall into place really nicely. And then we find we're having to do twists and turns in our plans to get uh, to get to where we want to go. And it also is a period of time. Maybe you make the decision there's a period of time uh, where you're waiting for your passport or where you're, whether you're waiting for uh, the right house to be found, whether you're waiting for the job, working out your notice, whatever it is, that final quarter is a period of putting into plan, uh, plan B here. Show me this final quarter, please. Okay, we get the four of wands. For some, it is around a new home. And we get the knight of pentacles, consistent progress. So... Um, and the Queen of Cups, nurturing yourself. Base of the pack, the Seven of uh, the Seven of Rods, standing your ground. And then we get the Five of Cups. Uh, you might there might be some looking back at the past, and with sort of like melancholy, nostalgia. It's been a hard decision for you to make, and there's a bit of that in that final quarter as we head into. Obviously, December, which is a time uh, spent with family. Show me, uh, show me this Seven of Pentacles, please. Okay, temperance and moderation and healing. Take the time to heal. Take the time to time out, just to rest um, and be balanced. Show me the Seven of Pentacles. 
So actually, again, any twists and turns act in your favour. You've got the skill that you need. Here's the King of Swords. You're onwards and upwards. And we get the High Priestess using your intuition. We get the Ten of Swords using your intuition ending. So it might take a full year for this big change to play out. But I do see you've reached the end of a major cycle by this time next year. Okay, uh, let's pull from the Revealing Light Oracle to close down the reading Capricorn. This is first and foremost a spiritual oracle, details of which are on my website. Okay, Capricorn, show me what is coming up for Capricorn in 2024. Messages from Spirit for Capricorn. Messages from Spirit for Capricorn. Okay, hold your ground. Sometimes you've just got to own it. Don't uh, deviate from your plan and your strategy. Intuition, the high priestess came up as well. Piscean energy. Uh, let go and trust yourself. Don't forget to use your own intuition, even in times of doubt. Now, this free fall card has come up. Um, it showed itself earlier. Nothing breaks as easily as a heart nor mends as strongly. I think for some of you... It's not a broken heart you're healing from. It's just the need to change. And for some, this could be even loving yourself in a greater way. Resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward. It's like you haven't made that decision yet. It's been hard for you. You will make it. And then we got make it happen. Do what you love to do. What do you love to do? That's the question. What do you love to do? When you find that out, do it. Do what you love and love what you do. Greater creativity and abundance coming through to you in 2024. All right, Capricorn, that's your reading. Um, thank you for tuning in. It's getting very warm upstairs. <laughs> I think it's time to go. So uh, all the best for 2024 and thank you. Bye for now.